really easy for doing anything like this. The file has multiple textures, and you just do simple things like this. Add the base color thing. I already made a texture material for it right here. Then you look for any other material that you could need to put in. Example. So from here, use this. Technically, it shouldn't look this bad. Because the rock texture, the stone texture, should be a different texture cell. And you need pearl me shader to make it look good. But if you want to do a quest thing, you're probably better off. I forgot to solidify the outer thing like this and solidify it. So I can have some girth and that won't look like this. Um. Just put the stones where you need to do it. All the stone textures are going to be mostly the same. And then you can just use any type of wood thing like that and you can add it. Old wood. House. These are the window panes. Are already kind of transparent. This is the glass. Go to your specter. Because your chat would not allow you to have things like this. You want to make a quest world, so use the standard PRC tune particles and multiply, and then you can slowly add it to all the glass panes. You can add something on top of it to make it actually well, good see through. This is supposed to be a wall, use anything here. This is a Tommy mat. You can have light green, or you can have like this texture. So, you do this. Make a new texture. This is way darker than supposed to be. But it does look nice. So when you have this, you can do your walls to look fancy as hell. Or you can make it look like old lumber or stone or anything like that. So make it whatever you want. You can get your own texture to make it look even better. I'm not gonna make you look like you're seeing through something you look like. It's had to look good. So there are many different ways you can get more textures for this. Plus, you need to put some places gonna be a little bit weird. So, your chat. Move it to light. You can use many textures. I didn't give you too much though, sadly. I actually forgot to give you some new stuff. Um, but you can just find any PNG that doesn't have um, something that you lo would like. You can just slap it on top if you want to. But usually you should stick to having simple walls, sectors, something that doesn't look like weird or off, because your walls are important. So nothing like that doesn't work, because sometimes sectors don't work. So look for, always look for better textures and always look for things that you can add. I need to find. Tari mat stuff is pretty cool. This is the wall. It doesn't look like a wall though. This is more actually how it should be. You could just add that, then add simply the visible window glass shader on top. Because sometimes you kind of need to do that to actually see inside. The world. 
and make it look pretty nice like this. Plus, all your textures need to be changed into VR Chat Mobile Tune or what to tune. You could mostly just stick to Matte Cap or Standard. If you want to make it like glow a little bit, just go. Mm, a bit upward, so it would have a little bit of shine to it. But you can get better woods. I can teach you how to do that too. Or anything, because that doesn't look like brick. Hmm, I need to give you more shaders. More textures for this. Maybe that's why they have the walls like that. I might need to cover up the walls again. That is a complete hollow area. It shouldn't be hollow. Okay then. The walls need to be added back. Hmm. Or maybe I can do something with this. Oh, so you can look at the outside. Okay. I'd rather do something really be creative here. I could use any of these textures here. Huh, actually, nope, it does not work. I'm almost about to praise it, but what the heck is wrong with this? Oh, it's one of those. Is that like a straight line and simple? Um, we really want to make this thing look special and unique. Here. Let me just. Oh, wait, I can't really show you this or I will lose focus on this. But maybe next time I'll show you a little clip of this. I will show you exactly how easy it is to get new textures. Let me do the, the windows again. But I need to show you everything, so... Don't go overboard with your texturing or materials. Because everything needs to get a mesh collider. So this is a mesh collider. These are crucial to make this thing actually function as a map. Now with these, you basically just saying, "Ha ha, I don't work." Um, you need to select every house thing from the map and select it and add a mesh collider to it. Mesh collider. Oh. Power chat, mobile, tune, standard light. There you go. Time map looks a little bit better. Ah, oh, it's supposed to be for this. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm not using it for that. I'm gonna use wood. I probably need to get a better wood. <laughs> I'm saying wood too much. It's going to be like a trend. Hey, look. There's wood. There's wood. There's wood. Get more wood. Collect more wood. Wood is everywhere. To make... I really need to get that done. Okay. Materials. There you go, now adding these together and that goes one good texture. Because you have a see-through area here. I forgot to give you everything because 
Not really a good point of doing this. Okay, this is this plain door. Mm, I need to get more textures. You know what? Let me just show you the basic for other things too. I thought I have all these extra for this too. Mm. We heard the grass texture. Do I still have old forests? This will work for now. Wait, I forgot. I can just get more stuff from here. Me stupidity when I know I have Unity. Unity store? There's some good things about the Unity store. The store asset store here. Um, don't mind that. So, church up. Landscape. You can use this, get more like grass and that stuff. And that's what I'm going to use. And this will down it directly to your file. So now you have leaves. Now you have way more stuff for your world. Little by little, you can get way more things from this than you ever believe. Now we need to get to the good stuff. Really good stuff. Start looking back and trying to clip more. We got this one. Anything that says free, don't hesitate. Um, so, keep looking for things, except don't go getting things like this, you're going to make your world look very cheesy really quickly. So, wait, pricing. Yep, free access. See, when you need something like this, yeah, you can improve way better than I have just by just downloading one of these. Getting like extra if you want to make it bigger, you can add this. So you can just laugh at everyone. Because you get like this. And holy crap, you can just slap these on random really nilly. And you can use it for parts. And that's a good thing because um, you can rip them apart and use it for things like this. This scene is actually a mountain thing I got for like free. And Eevee, please use the texture I gave you. You look like this. Even though kind of weird in some places, it still looks nice and it has decent texture mapping. You might need to put a, if you want to work on this file again. You probably should increase the depth of this, just so you can don't have to do deal with like too much stuff, and solidify the face of the mountain. That I forgot to do. And 
I forgot to make get the texture off of this thing. But I don't really need to do anything like that anymore because I have leaves. Soft leaf tree. Okay, that's nice. That's actually really nice, but I need to use mobile to particles advance. Nope. Wrong one. Project particles. Mobile particles. There you go, same thing. That's not working. Stone it is. Extract this stone and darken it. <sighs> By using the same texture and then using the texture itself. Rocks. Stone. You can use rock. That's gray. This one, which mobile, mat cap, and oh, they don't know. They're no mat cap here. Well, you think that you have less things that you can use. Always is something you can use. That's not really doing a mat cap job. That looks way better. Um, frankly, I'm just gonna choose none and just use standard and just use different color pigments because pure chat. Mobile standard. Use metal to do this and then change the color a bit by adding this. Make it look more rocky. That, and then you have different color rocks. Simple, easy, really great results.
to do some extra stuff to this. Probably make a texture for the ground. And actually make a texture because I forgot to do the main thing for this. I might give you a new preset for this with the updated landscape. Because you need to improve the outer rim. Go to add and store and install. This will give you more freedom to add extra stuff you want to do later. Anything can do to add a little bit more fun to your world is key. Just don't overdo it like I always do. New train, default material, RGB. I don't understand none of that, but oh well. Make a backpack, go ahead. No, I just have an idea. This will fix this problem immediately. I need to make where is grass? You can't really do nothing to this. For some reason, I don't think this will work. Grass, gravel. I can paint on more stuff. But how can...
Hmm. I can make it look like the train. One, where's that material? Supposed to be echo terrains. Do I?
I don't think it will work. Oh well. Wait. Crash script. I really don't get this why it's not working with this. But I could carve it into this. Try to make it line up with this, that's a part we can. Shrink down the terrain if I need it, because we need to have different size terrains. And line up with this. It's gonna be difficult, it's like a pixel. Okay, that works. Duplicate terrain. Refresh to why I can't shrink it. Wait, what? Okay, that's going to be a problem, but if I scoped it enough, this one will probably need to be scoped too. And add the ones that don't have too much terrain, and reuse it for that.
We're not even clouds with mesh. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to do, but oh well, I have to do it anyway. Uh, maybe I should just do it myself. This train thing kind of sucked. I thought it was supposed to be something better. I will take your grass. That's good. I can add more hills. I don't think these are actually good for that though. But... Let's see if it's actually gonna be good or not. Watching with that. Oh wait, no, I seen this one already. It has parts like have building a model kit. Um, ray track. Should I add a ray track to your world, EV? Probably not. It's supposed to be a temporary thing anyway. This world, then, because it, it's supposed to be your gate guide for models. Things are finding things to do with models. It's just completely weird because this is a lot of headache trying to find good stuff. Um, you know what? Maybe you should get low poly stuff. Then you can just put high poly texture on top of it. Then just need to find hmm I want this in clips. Need that to hide any type of seams. Or just, you know, add more things around in it so you have a better background. You could just get the sky pack if you want to. But this is getting way too long anyway. Oh, it's Ackley FPX. No, these are good. Files. Oh, 
Okay. I think this still might not work. Because there are Dell files. I've never used Dells. I have to have a weird system to make it actually work. This is also me testing random crap. Okay, so they do work. Hmm, but you have to put piece by piece. Uh, but it's still good, it didn't better than nothing. Then you can just fill in all those gaps you need to fill. There's a lot of gaps, because you wouldn't want like something like this in the world. You have a gap, but you have to have better things than that. So this basically is useless. So get your hierarchy, delete that. But because you have actual real things like this, you really don't need anything else. Because this makes great walls and great parts you just snap on. Also, if you want to fill in long areas, you can just get, download like cliff parts that I had, but I deleted because I didn't think we needed them. Or you needed them, anyways. Because they pulled me a simple path in the middle. Leading up to that, they both have no way to go to our side because it could be basically nothing to go towards. So it would have been useless. So let's we'll get bigger as far as I'm concerned. Bigger, a little bit bigger. This is supposed to be the last one, jeez. See if you can reach. Never mind. Attack the right side to most of the layers. If I wanted to go this route. And find bigger levels to like slap on to the side here. To the next level. Maybe I can use those and slap on the other thing on top. Then it'll make acting make more sense. I keep nagging and keep doing other things instead of actually showing you how to do it properly. So, sorry, I'm doing too much dumb things to actually thinking about how to do things normally. Uh, this is fun. So, this video gets still a little bit too long for Discord. To handle, I will send you a YouTube link, a YouTube video for it. I will send you the YouTube link for how I made your world a little bit better or a little bit because you can do a lot more better things. Because every time I show you something, you improve 100% better than me. So you are a prodigy, Evie. Or glazy. This is what this video is for for you to watch and have fun. So now just starting up the big stuff and start working on the 
just filling out the surface so it looks pretty So this used to have like big walls that both go on each side. For some reason now they're gone. So Fumi Shader is great for hiding mistakes. So if you have it, use it. That won't work. Also, don't overdo it with this stuff. You just have to just fill it up all of these things with. It should have been the first one. Collect all the canyon things and merge them all together into one solid thing so you don't have to worry about it later. So now it's a big line of rocks, but now we need to run out some way to make this easier for you to use mesh collider. Don't want to fall to the ground. Mesh collider. Oh, there's some other trees and other things I can put a little more love into. That's good. Now I can use a different leaf. There's oak, birch. If I didn't want to do this Puyomi shaders, I mean like this, I would. But I'm trying to make it thick for VR chat, so can't really shove a lot of things. Mobile particle, multiply, it look like ugly. Actually, mobile particle bait. That's better. And then you need dark bark. This is weird. You really don't need that many things. Always think through step ahead and don't let um meshes like this. Wait, you don't have mesh? What the heck is this? Okay, they're still gonna be like dark bark. Oh well. Now let's go add these to this. It actually does work. Pretty well. Hmm. Now after we get this all to set it up, it's gonna look nice. Let's try that terrain. Cause I'm just being dumb and not trying new things. Um, this looks like a corner edge. Do the precepts. Corner. These are probably just to hide most of the layout of. You can use these actually to do pretty good things, I can tell. Because if I just extend them, 
or try to do anything stupid. This will be basically step one how to fail at building because you should always do not do this and have to do it yourself, like in Blender. And don't use any other software type things like this usually to make your train because one thing it gets harder so you can do a lot of good things with this but let me stop joking around and start showing you how to make this world actually yours and how to make everything work properly and smoothly so go ahead back in here obviously you need some lights And all these things here need to become extract every material that you see. Because some material you don't really need. That looks funny. The only thing you truly need is simple things. You can even use ground if you really wanted to. Anything you can use, use it. Because you don't know what type of beauty you can find in a simple material. Like this! You wouldn't expect to use this. Oh, that's just pretty. And you can just use for like all of this stuff, all the doors, you just slap that in and just beautiful. I think I'm gonna do that for a lot of things. Let me see, where's the other one? Let me see if there are any other ones like that, because I want to see them all. Dust light. You can do whatever you want with do with yours, though. Try this. Curve chat. Mobile. Tune. Okay. That needs to be wood, though. Let's see, materials, wood. I need to download more woods. I keep forgetting what type of wood should I use and what background should I use. See, that wouldn't work on this, but doors work fine. Also, if you want to be clever, you can actually hide mirrors um, using the prefabs. And use a lot of other things to make it look pretty. But for now, I can't do that. Um, but any old wood will look good. Yeah, that rhymes. It's oak wood. Where is it? Extract and precept.
because this is does everything like that. So we just reuse the wood that it comes with. Old wood. Or chat. Mobile. I would turn into like that. That looks super bright and cool. But using two materials that shouldn't belong together is not a good thing. Mobile, standard, look dark. Or you can use metal to make it look a little darker. And then now is dark wood. A really good dark wood. Change a little bit of that can change everything from how the floor looks too because if you really want to make this thing stand out you should even a tiny little thing can make it look cooler see dark wood floors pretty good what mesh collider Rear chat, mobile. Do I have to see the difference between these? Give me an idea. Nope. If this was like any other one, that would have looked cool. But it won't look cool because not ground type flooring things. Uh, stone? Mm, that wouldn't look good. Now let's start getting to the nitty gritty and set up everything else get everything mesh collided that means to call this mesh collider wait got it. it's supposed to be these things mesh collider you can't do the windows you can do the windows but you can't do the doors or you're gonna be stuck outside. We don't want that. We want the maximum amount of freedom that you possibly can. And the maximum amount of detail you can. You can make tons of rooms like this. So we have this. And I have multiple space and more freedom to do most of it, anything. So get all of these windows like this. Mesh colliders. See, this is a little bit different. See, standard glass, not the same glass we need to use. Glass.
we want it to have like a little bit of shade to it too. So an easy way to add a little bit of this glass and change it to this is because multiply, use any type of thing as basically a base for your textures. You can make it look like that. That one will look cool. Play button looks weird. Anything with a transparent type tint to it. So anything bright can be used as a emissions. That does a good job. Just multiply. So, look at global particles, ants. So now anything can be super bright, no matter what it is, it looks good ish. Now this looked better. If it was a square to the freaking rectangle, it would have been super nice. Well, you can do that yourself anyway. I just <laughs> Fancy with your glass. This, this, see that. Don't hold back is because you have limitations on how many parts you have. Download more parts if you need to. Like me, I had to do a lot of stuff. Objects, this, materials, rock, rock. And feel free to. I'm doing this so I can do like for standard SDK stuff. So you can just add any of these rocks and shove it in to make have 3D effects or fill in the gaps that you should fill in because, well, does it look right? To have like random things here and there. Doesn't look like a real cave, doesn't it? Now we have a nice house here. Most of it has mesh colliders. Found where you have all the extra textures went to. Um, let's go find some new materials we can slap on top of this. So these will not work unless using matcap. And what matcap is basically the simple thing as having. So matcap shaders are big glowy shaders.
start with anything. Then you slap on something on top of that, just to make it come back kept. This is when a, a mesh does not have anything connected to it and needs a little bit of spice or gloss look. Also gives like that effect to make you trip a little bit. But usually you, you should just stick to replacing this with something else. But we can't really do that right now. Yeah. I should have deleted that and added actually yeah. detailed yeah. things with uh, having like just wouldn't look cool, but no detail to it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, just actually work this thing. Okay. It works. Now, let's start getting some things, things here. Yeah, the original always like this. It's the red too, not the fancy. And now you got everything settled in. Let's start working on mobile. Standard. When you have a problem with also texturing, you can always do this. Take a mesh detail like out here. Como yo sé tan de hecho grande por por easy, so happy easy to get. And now you basically get this. Without Pyomi, it kind of gets lackluster. Now, go to PFAPs and go to the world stop. This will make everything change. Piercy world. Default, jump, this, road SDK camera, script, all this stuff doesn't really matter. One thing matters is this. Boop. After you add this, it becomes a world. Where is it, actually? Right there. Right on here, that's where you spawn. Jump height 3, walk speed 2, run speed 4, shift speed, run speed 5, jump, and that can stay the same. I want a little extra boost in front of these stairs. Now, finalize anything else, then you're done. Sorry, it's an hour. I should speed up the video and cut up my ramblings. Not really a good teacher for this. But then you can get your furniture and shove it into here, and then you're done. The Pyomi shaders, you can just cut off this back part and have it 
hole. You have a mountain in there. So, see ya.